Howard Jacobson is a Man Booker Prize-winning British author and journalist. He is best known for writing comic novels that often revolve around the dilemmas of British Jewish characters. Background Jacobson was born in Manchester, Lancashire, brought up in Prestwich, and was educated at Stan Grammar School in Whitefield, before going on to study English at Downing College, Cambridge under Effa Levis. He lectured for three years at the University of Sydney before returning to Britain to teach at Selwyn College, Cambridge. His later teaching posts included a period at Wolverhampton Polytechnic from 1974 to 1980. Although Jacobson has described himself as a Jewish Jane Austen, he also states, I'm not by any means conventionally Jewish. I don't go to shul. What I feel is that I have a Jewish mind, I have a Jewish intelligence. I feel linked to previous Jewish minds of the past. I don't know what kind of trouble this gets somebody into, a disputatious mind. What a Jew is has been made by the experience of 5,000 years, that's what shapes the Jewish sense of humor, that's what shapes Jewish pugnacity or tenaciousness. He maintains that comedy is a very important part of what I do. Jacobson married his first wife when he was 22. He married his second wife, Rosalind Sadler. In 1965. They divorced in 1995. In 2005, Jacobson was married for the third time to radio and TV documentary maker Jenny de Jong. He stated, My last wife. I'm home, it's right. In August 2014, Jacobson was one of 200 public figures who were signatories to a letter to the Guardian opposing Scottish independence in the run up to September's referendum on that issue. Writing career, his time at Wolverhampton was to form the basis of his first novel, Coming From Behind, a campus comedy about a failing polytechnic that plans to merge facilities with a local football club. The episode of teaching in a football stadium in the novel is, according to Jacobson in a 1985 BBC interview, the only portion of the novel based on a true incident. He also wrote a travel book in 1987, titled In the Land of Oz, which was researched during his time as a visiting academic in Sydney. His fiction, particularly in the six novels he has published since 1998, is characterized chiefly by a discursive and humorous style. Recurring subjects in his work include Malia Euro female relations and the Jewish experience in Britain in the mid to late 20th century. He has been compared to prominent Jewish American novelists such as Philip Roth in particular for his habit of creating doppelga currency and gears of himself in his fiction. His 1999 novel The Mighty Waltzer, about a teenage table tennis champion, won the Bollinger Everyman Ode House Prize for comic writing. It is set in the Manchester of the 1950s and Jacobson, himself a table tennis fan in his teenage years, admits that there is more than an element of autobiography in it. His 2002 novel Who's Sorry Now? A Euro the central character of which is a Jewish luggage baron of South London a Euro, and his 2006 novel Kaluki Nights with Linguisted for the Man Booker Prize. Jacobson described Kaluki Nights as the most Jewish novel that has ever been written by anybody, anywhere. It won the 2007 J.Q. Wingate Prize. As well as writing fiction, he also contributes a weekly column for the independent newspaper as an op-ed writer. In recent times, he has, on several occasions, attacked anti-Israel boycotts, and for this reason has been labeled a liberal Zionist. In October 2010 Jacobson won the Man Booker Prize for his novel The Finkeler Question, which was the first comic novel to win the prize since Kingsley Amis's The Old Devils in 1986. The book, published by Bloomsbury, explores what it means to be Jewish today and is also about love, loss and male friendship. Andrew Motion, the chair of the judges, said, The Finkeler Question is a marvelous book, very funny, of course, but also very clever, very sad and very subtle. It is all that it seems to be and much more than it seems to be. A completely worthy winner of this great prize. His novel Zoo Time won the Bollinger Everyman Oudhouse Prize, Jacobson second time winning the prize. In September 2014, Jacobson's novel J was shortlisted for the 2014 Man Booker Prize. Broadcasting, Jacobson has scripted television programs including Channel 4's Howard Jacobson Takes on the Turner, in 2000, 
and the South Bank Show in 2002, which featured an edition entitled, Why the Novel Matters. An earlier profile went out in the series in 1999 and a television documentary entitled My Son the Novelist preceded it as part of the Arena series in 1985. His two non-fiction books are Euro Roots Schmiritz, Journeys Among Jews and Seriously Funny, From the Ridiculous to the Sublime a Euro were turned into television series. In 2010 Jacobson presented Creation, the first part of the Channel 4 series The Bible, A History. On November 3, 2010, Jacobson appeared in an Intelligence Squared debate in favor of the motion. In February 2011 Jacobson appeared on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs. His musical choices included works by J. S. Bach, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Louis Armstrong as well as the rare 1964 single Look at Me by the Whirlwinds. His favorite was Yawa Euro unregistered trademark Rear Sweetheart by Al Boley with Lou Stone and his band. He wrote and presented the Australian biographical series Brilliant Creatures on Four Famous Expatriate Iconoclasts. Bibliography, Fiction, Coming from Behind, Chateau and Windus, 1983, Peeping Tom, Chateau and Windus, 1984, Redback, Bantam, 1986, The Very Model of a Man, Viking, 1992, No More Mr. Nice Guy, Cape, 1998, The Mighty Waltzer, Cape, 1999, Who's Sorry Now? Cape, 2002, The Making of Henry, Cape, 2004, Kaluki Nights, Cape, 2006, The Act of Love, Cape, 2008, The Finkler Question, Bloomsbury, 2010 ISBN 978-1-4088. 0910 5, Zoo Time, Bloomsbury, 2012, J. Bloomsbury, 2014, Non Fiction, Shakespeare's Magnanimity, Four Tragic Heroes, Their Friends and Families, Chateau and Windus, 1978, In the Land of Oz, Hamish Hamilton, 1987, Roots Schmiritz, Journeys Among Jews, Viking, 1993, Seriously Funny, from the Ridiculous to the Sublime, Viking. 1997, Whatever It Is, I Don't Like It, Bloomsbury, 2011, References. External links, Audio, Writing Lab Interview with Howard Jacobson from Open Learn, Audio, Howard Jacobson in Conversation on the BBC World Service Discussion Show The Forum.